Hello, 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 hello. Find your joy. Wow. I'm just feeling this joy, this vibration of joy coming through. And um, yeah, I popped in here to share that with you. How are you doing? Yeah, it's amazing times, it's amazing times, amazing times. That's all I can say, amazing times. And these are the times that are really calling forth that God is within, that warrior within to show up. And that is what is showing up. For some time, I was feeling into the energy of the collective. I was feeling into what I was feeling as well because I have my own process, yeah, through this. But today when I woke up, I just had this vision of joy, the vision of what's possible after this. And what's possible is what's possible as in what are you willing to create? What are you willing to create? What are you affirming every day when you wake up? What are you calling into existence? That was my, the questions that came through for me, you know? Because I was questioning something that I was, I was shown some days ago, and then I didn't understand something when it shows like, is it like I'm late for whatever that I was supposed to show up for? So I was questioning that and I'm like, help me understand. What does this mean, really? And these are the questions that came through. What do you envision after this is over, after this phase is over? And what is, how, how are you really feeling? What are you calling for? And all I felt when I allowed that to show, to, to show up, all I felt was the joy. I had some things that I had to do in the city and I just, dressed up and I went into the city with this beautiful energy of joy and with this beautiful smile on my face. There was no one smiling, but the being within me was willing to share that joy with everyone that I come across. And some people were like, shocked, what the hell is wrong with this girl? Find your joy, how This is what I was taught in my brokenness. When I was truly broken, when I was really mourning, when I didn't even know how to spell joy, I was called forth, how are you willing to find joy in these times? And I'm just here to share with you that we are joy by nature. We are faith by nature. I'm not talking about something that we have to go look for in a religion. I am not talking about something because most of the times when you talk about faith, people associate it with some kind of religion or something like that. But no, faith, joy, love is in our DNA. We have been taught fear. And when it comes, we buy into it. And there is also this myth that when something is happening, you have to buy into the emotions of how everyone is feeling and tap into it and adjust to that. But my question is, what if you choose to find joy in something that is happening in your life or just joy for the sake of it because it's who you are and choose to be it and choose to share that with everyone? Because we are here to transmute whatever that is showing up as creators that we are. We are not here to match that which is happening. We are here to lead by choosing to be the light. Because as I was working and I saw everyone receiving that which I am, they were receiving that with a smile and asking, how are you? What is happening? And, and, and it showed how it shows how how much human beings are hungry for that which we call the normal but we can create it it doesn't have to happen because something is happening it's who we are 
I was hurt. I was frustrated. I was wondering why the hell am I a mother if I cannot be with my children? It was painful. It was, for me, it was the darkest moment of my life. It was dark. I didn't know. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know if this was going to pass. I had the fear that this might be my life forever. Or else I have to give up on the dreams that I have and go back home and be there despite the feeling and something that I've dreamt for, or, 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 uh, about for a long time. Because for me, being where I am right now is not something that happened because I met a man and I got married. Hell no. It's something that I have I have affirmed for many years. I would sit with my friends, whether we are drinking, whatever that we are doing, and I would tell them what I'm going to do. And the time when I lost my job, uh, when I lost my job in 2011, I imagined that 2012 I'm going to take a risk and move abroad. And it was no time. Because 2012, my younger brother had an accident. And yeah, it changed my plans. And again, it was still divine timing because while I didn't go ahead with that, that was the time when my mom got sick. In 2013, she passed on. And then 2014, that was the time when I had to leave. But I had to be in court. I had to fight for my children. I lost many cases despite that I went on with many lawyers until. The, 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 the voice came through, that message came through to say, oh, no matter what you do, you're not going to win this case. What am, I, what am I called to do during this time? I was grieving. I'm using the word grief because for me, that's how it felt like. And what was even, what I felt, feel it was the worst moment was when I was called forth to say, are you willing to find joy where you are at? Because despite where I went, despite the beauty that was surrounding me, I denied myself to enjoy it because I could just imagine how it would be when I'm with my kids. But the, the, my higher self, those light beams came through to say, find joy how where you at. How do I find joy in this mess? It's a choice how. You can choose to be in sadness or you can choose to find joy. And before this situation got where it is now, I received this message that said, all along you were creating content. And I didn't know what it was talking about. And today when I felt that joy, when I opened my heart to that which is, I realized that. Indeed, whatever that I was going through, as much as ugly as I thought it was, it was indeed the content that is even needed in these beautiful times. Because I'm just here to tell you that, yes, what is happening is happening. Let's feel it. Let's have the compassion. Let's still sit with it and still decide on the outcome that we want to see because we are the core creators. We are not waiting for an external being to create something. We have to join in it. When you sit with yourself and you really desire a different outcome, how does it feel like? Because that which we desire, we can create it in this now moment. That's what I'm saying, find your joy. Because right now, most people are, com are, com are affirming every day of the fear that they are feeling. And I remember the time when I used to go to church, there was some, some stories where the, story, the, the response was, you of little faith, meaning we do not trust. Many people are believers, but when it, the time comes for us to show that faith, we now start trembling. This is the time when you have to call the faith that you are. I'm not talking about the faith that you find in a religious thing. I'm talking about the faith that is in your DNA. Because you are faith, and this is what you have to call for. The knowing, the conviction that this here is transmuted. That's what we have to be affirming. When you talk about a prayer, a prayer that is needed in this beautiful now times is thank you. Thank you, God, for
for protecting me and my family. Thank you, God, for transmuting this virus. Not the poor me, the sinner, like I say in many stories, coming across of the angry God and all that. That's not the loving God. We have to stand on our feet. We have to be the conviction. We have to embody that which we are, which is the love, the joy, and the faith that we are. It is in our DNA. As much as we are, we are called to be in this moment, is to be with the self and with others. It's to be and really choose what we are willing to see. This here too shall pass. Thank you, because we have sat in fear for some time. But if you feel the fear and you are not willing to raise your hand and ask for people, please help me out. I am crippled by fear. Because at the same time as I'm talking about this, I'm calling you forth, I'm asking, if you are crippled by fear, raise your hand and ask for some help. Fear is okay if it does not cripple you. If it cripples you, then you really need some help. Raise your hand and ask for help. If it is what it is because it's, it's, it's there, it's there, we are in this uncertainty, then I'm calling you forth to ask yourself, what is it that you want to see happen? What are you calling forth into existence? Are you still calling the fear? Do you still want to continue and see yourself carrying the fear on the other side or you want to see something else? Because that which you want to see you have the privilege, you have the choice to call it into existence right now. And as I felt the joy today, this is what I imagine happening. I smiled across town today, sharing the joy, the smile that I am with everyone because that's what I'm calling into existence. That's what I wanna see when this is over. And yes, if you feel fear, I'm not saying deny it and pretend that you're happy. If you feel fear, yes, fear is showing up for a reason. And yes, you have to feel into it. And the question is, what are you willing to do about it if you don't know how to transmute it? I didn't know how to feel the joy. Even when I was called to be the joy or find the joy where I was at, I didn't know how to spell the word joy. But I had to do some work. I was told you have to do some work. How? And I was willing to do it. And I raised my hand. I worked with people. I invested in myself because I was not willing to sit in that grief for a long time. I was not willing to let that be the outcome of the, the, the life that I'm going to live after giving birth to children. And then I have to, to see them as if I'm, I'm, I'm someone from outside just visiting my children. I was willing to be with my children. And the higher self, the higher intelligence that is within me told me it is possible how. But if you are willing to stay with the hatred and the anger that you have within you, yes, that possibility that you are dancing around of not being with the children is possible. And that was, that was too much for me to bear. I was in pain. I needed help. I desired a different outcome. That's why I was willing to raise my hand. And I'm saying that because if you are still sitting around pain and you find it comfortable to talk about it. I wonder how much pain you're going through. If you want to seek help. Because where I'm at, where I'm able to tap into the joy and truly embody it, where I don't have to apologize for feeling happy because I know I've worked to be able to have this emotional stability. I have, I've worked and I deserve to be where I am. I have the tools that can carry me through this time. Do you have the right tools? Ah, <sighs> you need to take a breath there. Do you have the right tools? Or you just find it okay to join in, to talk about fear, to affirm fear, to call it forth. You have a roof over your head. You are with your family. And if you've lost some, I'm sending you love. I'm sending you love. I don't know how it is to lose a family to Corona because I haven't yet. But I know how it is to lose 
loved ones as I've lost my mom, I've lost my dad, I've lost my sister, I've lost some relatives. And as I always say, when you talk about losing your mom, for me, it feels like being naked. It's being naked. It's being naked. That's the only experience that I can talk about. I'm sending you my love. If you're still healthy and you still have your family and they're all healthy and you're still holding into the fear and you're imagining the West, is that what you really want to see? Because when you talk about creating things from your imagination, creating things from feeling them, this is one power that we have as human beings that has been belittled, that has been um, dismissed, that we have denied ourselves for a long time because we want to see things in physical. We think the logic is the only thing that is real. And I'm not saying do not follow the protocols, do not follow the precautions that are sent forth. That is part of creating because by washing your hands, by self-isolating, by social distancing, you are creating what you desire. You are participating in the outcome that you desire. But when you bring in the energetical part of it, which is really visualizing it, feeling it, embodying it, oh my, that is now powerful. Because we talk about so many things and so many things that exist did not just fall in in the physical. They started in as someone thinking about it. Even for us to be able to talk like now where you are, you can watch this from wherever that you are. You can listen to me. And I'm here in Germany. You can hear me. You see me. This was somebody who sat down and imagined it possible. And we can also imagine the outcome that we truly desire. If where we are at is where we do not want to be forever. We are creators and we can create the outcome we desire. What are you affirming? Are you willing to find the joy where you are at? What is it that is denying you to feel joy where you're at? Why is it so painful to be with yourself and your beloved ones? Like I said, I had to do some work. And I'm calling you forth to do the work if you feel called to. If you want to experience that, despite what is happening around you, this is what I'm calling you forth. Because this, I have some tools and, and a lot of things that I was given for me to navigate, for me to really find the joy, for me to really find that emotional stability, that emotional strength that is not dependent on, any, on, on anything. This is why I am that, a health relationship intuitive coach, helping you to gain your freedom and, unbreak, and, and break the unseen chains of codependency and create healthy relationships. Because we are living and we are living here and we do not experience the freedom because our, we, our, our, for instance, when you talk about joy, a joy is dependent on something happening. Our life is dependent on us maybe going to work, work distracting ourselves with so many things. We do not know how to be with ourselves. I don't think that is freedom. I do not call that freedom. But if you feel called and you are ready to find the freedom where you are not dependent on anything, where you can, you can ride the wave despite what is happening, you can still feel that joy. You can still cultivate it. You can still choose it. You can still choose to be the light and shine no matter where everyone is. I'm not talking fake it until you make it. No, I'm not. I'm talking about being it because it's what you are. It's in your DNA. But you, you, you might not feel it because you have so many blocks. You have so many walls that you have built around you. Those are what is blocking you to truly feel that. Now the only thing that you see is the fear. Oh my God, what am I going to do? What happened to the faith that is in you? Call that forth. This is the time when we need that. To look at our children, the beloved ones, because the, we might have the fear that we might lose them. And know and look at them and know that they are safe as much as you are. To be grateful for that which is in the now moment. moment. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Because I'm truly feeling joyful. <laughs> Yo.
Joy is possible. Joy is who we are. I'll leave you with that. Have a beautiful time and find the joy that is who you are. Send you much love. Thank you for the protection. Thank you for transmuting this palace. The highest form of prayer. Keep praying and have that faith. This too shall pass. Bye.